Coming up, music legend Jimmy Buffett's cause of death revealed, passing away from a skin cancer battle that he was diagnosed with four years ago. We're going to speak to a dermatologist on how his cancer progressed next. Fans across America mourning the loss of legend Jimmy Buffett. As we learn, he reportedly died from lymphoma, which began as skin cancer a few years ago. The tragic loss, a stark warning about the risks of skin cancer. One in five Americans will get it by age of 70, as it kills at least two victims in the U.S. every hour. Dermatologist Dr. Janine Downs down joins us now. Uh, doctor, it's so great to have you on the program again. Um, tell us what I we will. need to know about skin cancer and in particular lymphoma. Okay, so there's a couple of things, Will. Good morning, thank you for having me. Um, Jimmy Buffett died of Merkel cell carcinoma, which is a very rare disease. Um, you see, in terms of the United States, one in five um, white men over the age of 50 will get skin cancer. Um, Merkel cell carcinoma strikes about one in five men over the age of 65 that are sun damaged. Mm. I believe Jimmy Buffett was Irish American, very light, he lived his life in the sun. He loved the sun. He sold us that lifestyle. He was, I agree, a poet in paradise. And so we all loved him. We all wanted to know where Margaritaville was that he made up in his mind. But all of that sun damage on his Irish skin was really a problem. So Merkel cell carcinomas, MCC, we abbreviate them, and lymphoma is actually what he died from. Right. And Merkel cell carcinomas are actually more deadly, Will, than melanoma because a third of the people that get um, Merkel cell carcinoma will die from it. So the five-year survival rate is something like 78%, so, and uh, it's, that's significant. Can we do a quick q and I'm genuinely curious here, and I want to ask you some questions that I, that I would love to have the answer to. I've always heard, is it true mm -hmm. that most skin damage and then potentials for cancer are done when you're a child? I've heard that. I don't know if it's true that the skin damage you get from sunburns and, and blistering and all that, what the, the most damaging is what happens, I don't know what the age is, but when you're a kid, is that true? That is, that is actually true. That, but you can continue that sun damage throughout your life, especially if you tanning bed. So we recommend sunblock on babies from as young as three months old, right. an SPF of 30 and reapplying it. And then if your viewers see a mold changing, if they see something that's dark, that's asymmetrical, whose borders are irregular, if the colors are varied, um, if the diameter is getting larger, that's a problem. For Merkel cells, what Buffett had, it starts with a red pain, painless lump. Right. or a flesh-colored painless lump, but that's still a problem. And okay. if something's not healing, it's not just a pimple. Really quick, Dr. Downey, two more. I just want to get really quick so I don't have too much time. Mm -hmm. Even though you brought up his Irish-American skin, um, another misconception I've heard is just because you have dark skin, if you're black or you're, you're, a tan, you're tan by nature, you're not protected from these diseases. You're not protected. Everyone that's skin needs to wear sunblock every single day. Right. Thank you for bringing that up. You're absolutely not protected. Everybody needs to wear sunblock. Anybody with skin can get skin cancer. Okay. And I offer deep condolences to his family. I hope he's having a cheeseburger somewhere in paradise right now. Well said. Okay, next time I want to talk to you about sunblock as well. There's more conversations about that, the different types. Does it have any potential problems associated with it? That's a deeper conversation, but now we need to focus here on exactly what you said, uh, lymphoma, melanoma, skin cancer in general. Dr. Downey, great conversation. And the Merkel cell. Yes. Thank Merkel you. Cell. Thank you Thank so you. much, Will. All right. Have a great day.